Coach Trayton, I guess uh, you know, we heard from several of your teammates and coaches how you had a pretty uh, exciting fall camp. I guess, uh, how, I guess from your perspective, how did fall camp go? Uh, I think it went well. I wasn't able to like practice in the spring, so it was nice to be able to like, go out there and uh, have a lot of energy and really just trying to get better for this uh, last year. Uh, I knew it was my last fall camp, so you know, just trying to give it your all. Is there anything you uh, you kind of focused on in particular during fall camp? Or? I mean, it's just focusing on one thing every day. Uh, like one day it could be blocking, the other day running routes, the other day catching the ball. I'm just really trying to hone in on all those little things every day. Is there anything you did, I guess, you know, physical transformation, mental transformation, kind of, I guess, this past off season? Yeah, I think just uh, working on my shoulder just from having surgery in the off season, just making sure that was uh, good enough to play and not have to think about uh, that injury and just be able to focus on football was the biggest thing. And then... Obviously, trying to run routes and be a good blocker. So, what was that? What was that shoulder rehab like? Uh, I mean, I've had a couple knees done, so I mean, it was a little less. Uh, it was a lot less worse than the knees, but you know, being in a shoulder brace for six weeks isn't fun. Um, but you know, we have a great PT staff, and they're able to get me back super quick, and it felt like a super fast recovery. And then this last week, take us through those two touchdowns against Weber. How was that? Yeah, I mean, uh, we knew we were going to rerun a lot of nakeds, get the defense flowing a lot. Um, Vegan had a great play that he had in Wyoming. And uh, really, it was the O-line and the tight ends blocking uh, there. And Sean had all the time in the world to make a perfect ball. All I had to do was just catch it. It was super simple. Um, it was just really all up to everybody else. And I just had to catch the ball, really. It was just pretty simple. Yeah, I know the second touchdown, he was the first one down there. I don't know how he made it down there. He probably had a 20-mile-an-hour sprint down there, which was really awesome. And then he had the cool picture on the, after the first one. So that was really cool to have that moment with him, too. Yeah, uh, I'm new here, a new interviewer. Uh, <laughs> so who's your favorite DB? <laughs> I think it would be uh, Lavelle Price. Uh, you know, we came into the same class together. So, you know, I love that guy. And, uh, you know, he's been through it just like the rest of the seniors. So, you know. Yeah, pretty sure he's watching me, so he'll make it. <laughs> what's it like offensively, you know, uh, being on the sidelines with such a dominant defense? I mean, obviously that was a big story. You know, they're going to talk a lot about the offense. But the defense just dominated 40 to nothing for shutouts. So what's it like, you know, being a part of the defense like that? Yeah, I know. I think last year they uh, they had struggled in a couple games, and they this was a big game to prove that they would taken another step in the offseason. And uh, I know Nolan, my roommate, he uh, rallies those guys a lot, and along with Danny and the D-line and, you know, just rallying all those guys together. And I think they took a different mentality this offseason uh, to let everybody know that um, that they're a new defense and that they have a lot of guys that can make plays on defense. Um, and they were able to show that on Saturday. So I'm super happy with those guys. Um, they did an incredible job. John obviously needs uh, time to create those plays. Like you said, he had all the time in the world. A lot of people talk about the experience of that offensive line. So how much have you seen them grow over the last year? Yeah, I mean, I started playing when everybody was talking about how inexperienced they were. And, uh, I mean, along with myself, they kind of took it personal. And uh, just wanted to prove to everybody that, you know, they put in all the work just like every O-line does around the country. Um, but they wanted to show that they're a good group of guys and they can work together like none other. And uh, over, the, over the first or a couple of last years, um, they've just proven that they work well together, and uh, they're just a physical group. And, uh, you know, they've always had that underdog mentality. So uh, I think they bring that into every game. John said, sorry, John said maybe uh, it was the same play, flip-flop on the other side. Was it the same play? Yeah, no, it was the same play, just flipped on the other side. Can you talk about, I guess, John at the helm the entirety of two games in a row, what that was like? Yeah, I know. Uh, it's different, obviously, not having Tommy back there calling plays. But, I mean, we've had this last year where Sean had to step in. Um, so we, we have experience with Sean back there. Uh, he hops in there. He's a great leader, obviously a team captain, and uh, he can control the offense, and uh, he leads us around. And, you know, he's a leader by emotion, and he just shows it on the field. Um, he's constantly making plays when plays are broken down and they look like they're going to be negative plays. Uh, he's always fighting for the extra yard, make sure it's not a negative play and turn the negative plays into positive plays. Um, so, you know, his just playmaking ability is incredible. Guys, though, you know, you mentioned the Weaver, who stands with 40-0 win. So, what do you think that said to the conference? Like, you know, how do you 
the rest of Big Sky Play? Yeah, I think it was just more us uh, and to ourselves, really. I mean, we just knew that we had a, we had a really good team in front of us, and uh, we had to play a really good game to uh, be able to beat them. And it just happened that we had a great team effort all around, defense, special teams, offense. Um, and then, obviously, there's everything around the conference and whatnot, but we were just really focused in on ourselves. Um, what is has been your role kind of offensively throughout your first game? I know there's been some wide receiver injuries. I guess what is your mm -hmm. role kind of been offensively? Yeah, I know. I think my mentality is really focus on the ground game and just be physical and have a really good presence and be uh, in tune with the offensive line and just know what they're doing. And they've done an incredible job being able to communicate so that everybody's on the same track. And then uh, when our name's called in the tight end room to go out and run routes, just be keyed into what we got to do if it's man or zone and just being keyed in and when we got to go make plays and, you know, when we got to go run routes to kind of open other people up too. So just kind of focusing on all those things. What has it been like seeing him get the 41, kind of step mm -hmm. into a bigger leadership role this season? Yeah, I know it's awesome. Uh, he's been through so many injuries, just like a lot of us have. Uh, he had the ACL in his foot and, you know, just constantly battling back every year. Um, he was able to come back that 21 season and make it to the uh, national championship and play, which is incredible. And uh, he's just such a big team leader vocally. And uh, he just shows it's on the field too. You know, he has so much passion and he controls that defense. He's always out there communicating. Um, so I always love seeing him fly around, make plays, and it's just awesome to see him succeed. And then just one more thing, uh, working with Coach Walker again, another year under him, what's he been like? How's he helped you, especially this offense? Yeah, I mean, he's such a character. You know, he has all his catchy catchphrases, and, uh, you know, he, he's very loose, and he knows when to be stern. And uh, But, you know, he likes to have a good time. It's football. Uh, it's a kid's game that we're all playing. But, I mean, he knows when it comes down to the X and O's. He's one of the smartest that I know. Uh, coaching us, so you know he gets us really dialed every week, and I'm fortunate for that for sure. Been your senior, uh, you've been around the program for a while. So what does uh, what does it mean to be a Bobcat to you? Um, I think it's that blue collar, gold standard mentality. Um, just keeping your head down every day. Um, you know, during the season, everybody's hurt, everybody's sore. It's just coming to practice every day on a Monday, and running routes as hard as you can, and blocking as hard as you can, and just bringing that energy that you should be bringing to the game to practice every day. Because um, it's a long season, it's easy to have lulls during the middle of the season. But uh, ultimately, just giving your effort every day and you know, just having a positive mindset of everything. A lot easier after the coaches catch up. Yeah, definitely. <laughs>